Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, out here for another gear view, and today I'm talking knives. This little guy right here, which is the Tarava Skrama 80 by Varushtalika. Probably mispronouncing a bunch of those things right now. So what do all those words mean? Well, the Tarava, pronouncing that wrong probably, need to brush up on my finish, but I believe it means sharp, Skrama, not sure the 80 in there is reference to millimeters 80 millimeter blade basically a little over three inches and yeah it is a kind of field use adventure knife smaller knife sheep's foot blade get into the blade steel in a minute and this also looks different than what it's once looked like because Definitely took it on an adventure, but I'll go over kind of some of the features of this guy real quick. The knives come a couple different ways. This one right here is actually in a leather sheath. Right here, you have a belt loop. There's a snap here. Undo that, and you can draw the knife out. You can also purchase the knife just by itself or with basically kind of like a plastic sheath. As far as the blade itself, it is a 80 CRV2 just a high carbon steel, really good steel, hardened to 59. Back here you have a lanyard. The grip, kind of like a rubberized grip, pretty, pretty comfortable, easy to grab onto. And if you're gonna be doing tasks, it's not gonna give you hot spots and just wear your hand out. Originally, the blade, I think, had like a 23 degree kind of grind to it. It no longer does. I will tell you that story in a minute. But yeah, overall, just a pretty solid outdoor kind of multitask knife. We'll start with where I got this knife. Actually, was down in Arizona competing in Desert Brutality a couple years ago. Really, really fun competition. And yeah, ended up getting selected to go into the prize table. Walk through, saw this thing sitting on the table. I'm like, that's pretty cool. I think I will pick that. And so ended up picking up this knife. And since then, uses on a bunch of different outings, like backpacking, things like that. And really good for camp chores, stuff like that. Not for stabbing, probably not like personal defense knife, but for pretty much any of your cutting tasks, like around camp, things like that. Even just like limbing stuff, it does great. And again, just the handle, don't run into hot spots, things like that. But fast forward, I think maybe 2021 fall I was down with my buddy Sparky, a guide, Joker's Wild Outdoors. And I was down actually with someone that was hunting on his property. Guy shot an elk. Congratulations, awesome. Now we need to gut this thing. And I'm like, I got you, man. So this is what I had on me. Pulled this thing out and got to work with it. Well, there are numerous ways to go about gutting deer and elk. One of the ways I learned was basically splitting open the pelvis so you could pull everything out and usually it just makes it cleaner. That said, I did not have a bone saw. So I ended up taking this and this essentially on the pelvis with a rock, kind of like batoning except through bone and basically forced this thing down and split the pelvis so I could pull all the entrails out. It definitely worked. It was not made for that and it actually really chewed up the blade a lot fortunately another buddy of mine he's a custom knife maker i was like hey can you fix this and he had to very aggressively grind this to basically get rid of all those chips but he managed to basically rehab this blade so you can still use it and as i had mentioned kind of like camp chores and stuff being able to just whittle stuff or create feather sticks and ultimately kind of all the prep work you need to do to kind of work on getting a fire started.
And then on the spine of the blade, some of the softer material has been removed, kind of beveled, and it actually gives you access to the harder steel so you can use it in conjunction with a ferro rod. Overall, been really pleased with this knife as just kind of jack of all trades, kind of backcountry knife. Camp chores, things like that. What does it not do? Doesn't really stab with the blade geometry and it apparently doesn't like getting hammered through an elk's pelvis. But you can do probably both those things if you need to. Again, I was out there with that elk, needed to get it gutted. The tool I had was this, I made it work, definitely beat up that blade, but fortunately that high carbon steel was actually fairly easy. My buddy was able to grind it back down, put a razor sharp blade on it again, so I can still use this thing. And also with that steel, just it's easy to maintain, easy to keep sharp. Overall though, definitely stoked on this. Price wise for just the blade, you're looking at like 40 bucks and a couple different tiers of sheaths, this being the high-end like leather belt sheath, bringing it to, I believe, $70 total. Pretty awesome for some stuff made over in Finland. So if you have the need for a knife, yeah, check it out. There'll be a link down below. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over Teespring, picking up shirts, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. Helps me go out and create more content for you. And if you have questions, we have an active Discord over there. Happy to answer all your questions there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Drop on.